what is up guys and welcome back to the new game plus today we have another new video yes been a while since i've posted some of the new videos but here we are again so recently i got notified by two of my subscribers that there's a newer version for the play the ps2 emulator available for ios and as you guys know every new version i always download it i test it out i check some of the games that you guys asked for and i also check something that a lot of you are not checking the compatibility list so without any further ado i'm going to show you what's available right now with this new version uh, i'm gonna read for you guys uh, what i have available in the latest version and as well we're going to be testing some games so um we try to make this at least a 10 minute video so i could test everything else that you guys can see it as well so the latest version is 0 0.51 uh you're gonna find everything all the links to download all the uh, all the files are gonna be as always down below in the video description and also like i've been doing and uh, all of my videos related to ipad emulations i have a uh, google drive folder with all the files necessary for you guys to download and get you started with all of this so all those files are always kept up to date the update came out i believe it was like probably yesterday or two days ago and i'm a little bit late on it but uh, the file is already is updated as of now on the google drive folder so what's new with this new update so they actually added many compatibility improvement with some of the games like some some of the compatibility that they do is basically based on some of the specific games like in the list that they have right here devil my cry 2 onimusha blade warriors onimusha there's a lot of onimusha in here iron man and constantine and many other games that you won't be able like to see here in the list unless you go into the compatibility list so you could actually check what other games were updated they also fixed some issues that had, that could cause safe state to corrupt uh, the memory upon loading the game. So basically, when you load the game from the safe state, it, it could make the whole application crash. So they kind of work on that and fix some other issues with that. And also for you guys, Linux players that are using the Linux operating system, uh, in my case, I'm using uh, Manjaro and I use Windows 11 is available on the flag hub basically that's like the app store depending on the distro that you have installed in your um, linux operating system so now it's available for you to download from there instead of just getting it from the website so that's pretty much it what they have uh for updates on the app but right now i'm gonna do the part that you guys are looking forward the most i'm gonna be testing some games and the popular games that i will get asked to say to test is gta san andreas bully and god of war let's start with gta because you guys as you guys seen my videos before and you see after every update um that gta has an issue where basically when you're playing the game on the top left corner you could see uh, like a reflection of the game so let's see if they that got fixed so we're gonna test that out right now i'm gonna speed up the video until we get to that part all right and we're back again that finished loading so now i just as keeping the hot scene oh uh so a little bit of reflection in the top left corner again so they haven't fixed that yet and once again let me show you the settings that i'm running on let me show you in settings right here so you can see what i'm what i'm running uh once again actually you see at the bottom i'm running the latest version 0 0.51 all my settings are all the same. I haven't moved anything. I'm just uh, the stuff that I have in the top left corner so you guys can see the frame, see if the frame is dropping or not. And um, the handler, so the render is, uh, I'm using OpenGL. I started everything on 1X to give it like a first fair trial to see how it's running. Um, but as you guys can see, uh, we still had those reflection on the top left corner and the frame rate even though i'm running it at native resolution is not as steady so if you're running the game on a native resolution and you see all this jitter and you see all those artifacts this to be honest there's no point of upscaling the graphics because it's going to be the same it's going to look more clear like right now it looks more clean but we're still having the same issues so as far 
as an update for this game they haven't applied anything new to this game that i've seen so far we could clean up the game by um upscaling the graphic but still you guys can see the artifacts i'm gonna put it here so you guys can see it and i'm gonna have something here to show you here you see it's still doing the same thing let me do a safe stay because i don't have any safe stay we're gonna run this with Vulcan real quick i don't want to spend too much time in one game so I, I have enough time to put everything in one video so i could show you the other ones too uh we're gonna go back to one x again and we're also gonna go and change it to Vulcan. so let's load the game now i don't have to uh, do any video skip i only did that because i didn't have a safe state so let's go and check again the game is running on Vulcan. hopefully it doesn't crash the emulator and is a no go he has even worse video visual artifacts in the video and the game all right so we're gonna switch to the handler we're gonna switch to opengl 1x keep everything as stable as possible we're gonna boot up bully and right here in this one i'm going to be right back i need to skip all of this and i'll see you guys when i i get to actual gameplay and we're back so let's gonna try and skip this cutscene real quick to see if it is working properly as intended trying to skip the cutscene it's still loading there we go skipping and let's see if it still had the same or yep it still had the same issue as my previous test in this game uh, the screen is shaking just like before uh yep still having the same issue as the previous uh version that i tested like i said you could upscale the graphics all you want it's gonna look pretty but you're still gonna have those visual artifacts on the screen as you guys can see right now see the character's face a little bit kind of funky the screen is shaking all over again and as i tried with Vulcan in this one uh the performance is not that great either but just for this video sake i'm gonna switch to Vulcan. i already have a put this back to one x i already have a safe uh safe state ready so we could load into that part right away hopefully it doesn't crash let's load it and this is running on Vulcan, which is as you guys can see is a lot worse than using OpenGL. So these two games so far is a no-go. They're not optimized for this emulator yet with this uh, newer version. So they're not optimized as a no-go. So now the last game in the list, which is uh, God of War, as requested, we're gonna test it out. Once again, the settings are OpenGL as a handler and it's a 1X resolution, which is native resolution and i'm going to be right back i'm going to do the same thing here I skip everything and i'm going to jump into gameplay and we're back with some gameplay uh, as you guys can see uh, opening the game now after the cut saying i couldn't skip it so i had to do a jump cup on the video uh as previous version saying each you you see the green engine the screen and below in an area start fixing up but still and remember, this is running better on OpenGL. If we go to Vulcan, it's going to be a lot worse. The game is running at 30 frames per second, and it's dropping down a lot. And on top of that, we got that audio glitch, as you guys can hear. I actually did a test of this game live. And uh, on a live stream, I'm uh, probably going to link that in the video below so you guys can see. I was testing a bunch of games. And the audio lags like really bad in this game. And on top of that, they feel like you're playing everything in slow motion. And we still have that green effect on the screen. So this game, again, is not ready to be played in this emulator as of yet. Just for this video's sake, I'm gonna create a safe state for this game. 
and I'm gonna load it using Vulkan so I could I could show you guys real quick so let's go um sorry I'm gonna go settings I'm gonna change this to Vulkan I'm gonna go back boot the game I don't have to jump up again since I already got the safe state so let's just load it right here low safe state there we go and now let's see how it runs with Vulkan and the usual thing that we've been seeing lately with the other games after you switch to Vulkan the screen is all discombobulated. Yep. As you guys can see. Nope. It's even worse if you use it on the Vulcan. So again, this game is not well optimized yet. So we will have to wait for some other updates or a specific optimization for the games like the developer does when he does some of the updates on his emulator so that would be all for today guys so if you have any question make sure to leave it down below in the video description and once again the links to download the play emulator is going to be down below it's going to be the official page and also going to be a link to my google drive with all the files to get you started and i'm going to have some useful video down below in the video description on how to set up this emulator for your ipad iphone and get you started so if you enjoyed the video remember to leave a like comment favorite and subscribe for more and i'll see you guys in the next one peace